These apps are gonna make your life easier, so why not check them out? Hi everyone, welcome to the life of a Latina engineer. If you're new here, we talk everything about engineering life, so please consider subscribing. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the top apps to have if you're an engineering student. But first, help me out to reach more engineering students by clicking the like button. Now, let's get into the first app. So the first app is Wolfram Alpha. This app, and also website, is also known as the Wikipedia of Engineering. You can input many different questions, many different problems, many different things that you might be looking for, and you will probably find them there. It covers many different topics, not just engineering or STEM. And also, besides from just being a main app, it also has course assistance apps in case you're looking for help for a specific class. For example, calculus, physics, or many other that are the very foundations of engineering. It is simply a computational engine. It is available for both iPhone and Android. And the price for this app is $3 or $2.99 for students. When I was in college, we personally used the website rather than the app. But now, since everything we do is from your phones, why not get it in the app and you have access from everywhere? The second app is Check, and this one I lived by when I was in school. While the app itself is free and also available for both Android and iPhone, it requires a membership if you want to get to features such as textbook solutions or tutoring. While this one is more of an investment, like $15 per month, I think it was well worth it for my time in school, especially because I learned how to use it to help me rather than use it in a non-productive way. So what is Check? Honestly, when I was looking back at this now, I've seen that it has grown so much more from what it was when I was in school. And that was only a year ago. <laughs> so what does this offer? And again, this is an app, but it's also a website. So you can access it both ways. So it's a matter of what works best for you. So Check offers digital and physical textbooks, both for sale and rental. And, and most of the time, this is cheaper than, for example, if you go to Amazon or your, or your school bookstore. But it's not only that. Check offers online tutoring, textbook solutions to almost every single book that you might think of, including your engineering textbooks that might be hard to find answers for. And this is where it gets tricky. That membership that I used mostly was for the solutions and a little bit of tutoring. But to me, those solutions, which are breaking down step by step, will help me understand how to solve my homework rather than just copying. So to me, it was a payment that I had to do every month but it helped me tremendously when I wasn't able to go as a professor at that moment or ask someone else because I was a commuter and I was working from home. And again, you can find almost every single textbook in it. But some of the things that I've seen that are newer, it's for example, career tips, such as how to improve your resume, your cover letter, how to get ready for that interview. But other thing that I didn't even know existed until I went back and looked at this website and app is that it has a internship search. Now, how crazy is that? You can just go in and put what you're looking for and it can help you find those internships. So, unfortunately, I don't have experience using that, but I think it was super cool because it's like the main website to go if you're in college. <laughs> the third app is Engineering Cookbook and this one is completely free. It's also available for both Android and iPhones. So why get this app? This app is a little more focused on mechanical engineering. It's just simply a reference guide with a bunch of information that you might get to use on your daily as a mechanical engineering student and even as a professional. Some of the things that got me were, for example, I was able to find some of the heat transfer charts that we were using in school. Especially because during that class, we didn't actually purchase a book. So we had to either go and print a copy of that, find it somewhere. And just by knowing that you have all this other information and you can just go into all these different charts that you might need for class in your phone, that was pretty cool. But other than that, some of the content that you can find in there are fame basics, system design, duke designs, motors and drivers, motors and drivers, and formulas and conversion charts that you might use in not just one class, but in multiple classes that you might take while you're in engineering, while you're a mechanical engineer student. So in summary, it's like a little guidebook that you can pull out from your phone and get information when you need it or when you don't have a textbook available. Moving on to our fourth app is Frame Design. And this one, I personally didn't use it when I was in school, but I was just so thrilled when I found out because it would have been so much help when I was in my statics class. Again, don't worry, this app is free and it's also available for whatever phone you have. So what is this? It's a final element analysis app. You heard me right, FMEA. I'm just, that was just gets me so excited. Like, oh my God, like it's just in an app. And this again, it's applicable to your statics class, which is one of the very first 
fundamental mechanical engineering classes but then again later in my career I took FMEA, I took final elements analysis and that app could have been useful again but unfortunately I didn't know about it. So here you can create for example a beam structure, you can create your inputs, your supports and you're able to see how the load is going to distribute, how the structure is going to respond. So that is pretty cool, might not be as applicable like you won't be making, like you won't be designing a structure but if you have a problem in statics and you just want to understand to a deeper level or you want to understand like your answer from you know just looking at your problem and putting up an equation and solving, you can actually build it in this app and see the forces and see the distribution of the loads and see the distribution of the loads on the beam and it's just so cool and I get so excited about this one. So I can say this is for true engineering nerds. <laughs> app number five is a graphing calculator. So let's say you're doing your homework or you're somewhere else that is not your house or you forgot your calculator somewhere and you need to complete your homework. With this app, your phone has to cover. I obviously don't recommend to have this to replace a graphing calculator, but it can be really handy when you don't have your graphing calculator or you forget it, or maybe you broke and you need to get a new one, but you need to submit that homework tonight. So this one, I'm not telling you exactly the name of the app, but there are different options depending on what type of phone you have and they are free. So just type up graphing calculator and you can find one and you can just pull it up whenever you need it and put whatever you want. You have all the buttons, all the options that a graphing calculator has because we all know that we can't solve engineering problems with, with just a calculator that the phone comes with. Number six is Can Academy. This is another one where it's a website and also an app. And again, why not have it at your fingertips? So I'm gonna stop telling you that all these apps are available for iPhones and Androids because all of them are. So let's just skip that part from now. This app is free, it's free on the website, it's free everywhere. Its main mission is to provide education to everyone, everywhere, and it's also trying to do it in different languages. So it's really, and it contains a lot of courses. So you can use this app two different ways. You can either use it to learn a new topic, there's a bunch of STEM topics, there are courses on things that are completely outside of STEM, there are some that are more for personal growth. You can find a bunch of different ones and I'm probably going to be showing my screen here where you can see all of them. <laughs> so with that, you can either pick a new class or a new topic that you want to venture in or you can go and search a class that you might be taking, search the exact topic that you're covering during your homework or during that lecture that you might not be able to understand fully and look at the lecture for that topic. Maybe the way they explain it is way more understandable for you than what you saw in lecture. Okay, I have two more apps to share with you. The first one is iEngineer. And I think this is app number seven. <laughs> so again, free. But why should you get this app? What exactly is it? This is again another one of those apps that are really focused into something. Mostly mechanical engineering. So this is mainly a database of information of bolts and screws. So what does this mean? You can go in, you can, you can look at what bolt or screw you're looking for and it will tell you what load it can withstand and if it is appropriate for whatever you might be designing or building. Not only that, but it also comes with a drill chart that will help you know, you know what size hole to drill for that specific bolt to screw. It has a fraction chart that you will use through your entire engineering degree and also a unit conversion. So if you might not be looking into what bolt to use, you're gonna find useful of the unit conversion, the drilling sizes, that those I use every single day at work. So again, these apps can even be useful if you're done with school. We finally got to the last app. So if you got to this part of the video, you better hit the like button because I'm pretty sure you will be checking out or installing one of these apps that I'm talking about. So the last one is Microsoft Math. And this is a really simple app. It only does one thing and one thing only, which is help you solve math problems. So if you have a math problem, you can even have it written on a board or written on your notebook. You can snap a picture of it and it will show you the solution. And that's it. So if you have a problem, it is the solution. However, there is one con to this app and is that it doesn't show you step-by-step -step solutions. Anyways, so those are the engineering apps that I recommend for you to have or at least check out if you're an engineering student. They will definitely help you out a lot if you have them. The ones that are paid are worth the investment and again this is not an ad i am not a sponsor i don't even have a coupon code when i was in school i used to pay for them whenever i paid for them <laughs> but they helped me out tremendously it was a different way of learning it was just quick information that i had in my hand and i just wanted to share them with you 
Please leave down in the comments what app you cannot live without as an engineering student. I would love to check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!